In our third and final scenario, uh, we're going to be saving a different file, but with the same setup. We have a master file, and uh, we'll go to the design model. And we have an external reference with the same level convention. But uh, what we did is we created a sheet model and we then attached, did a self attachment of the design model within uh, the sheet model. And then we just nested in our external reference file. And as we had previously, we have all three files and all share the same common level names. Now, what we did is we turned off level one and level three in our external reference, and we've left it on in our, our reference file. So now we'll save this file to DWG. Scenario number three, and we're So our first iteration, we're going to go to options. Source of level display is set to one. Go to our reference tab. We have it set to merge and we have copy levels during merge. So we'll go ahead and save our file and we'll see our results. So we did save the file to DWG. The reference is somewhat merged with the viewport, but our level display is not what we had in our DGN file. As you see, uh, levels one and three are on, even though they did get created separate from our master file levels. So how can we save this file and uh, get our level display to be consistent? So let's go back to our, our DGN file. And we're going to save this again. And let's select DWG. Call this one number two. And we'll go to our options. So this time we go to our reference tab and we want to uh, select this option to merge our viewports during attachment. Because as you saw previously, we had a viewport the reference was merged in, but we had a separate viewport. Well, this option will now merge that viewport in. And uh, I want you to notice what happens when we do this. So now we'll go ahead and save that file. And you see now our level display is maintained. We go to our reference attachment. Now we have no viewport. It's all one file. And if we go to level manager, we see that our levels, while created, were turned off uh, respectively as they were in our DGN file, and this will give us our desired results. So this is an instance, sometimes you, you may have a file with a self-attachment with a nested reference, and you know your references just aren't correct. And a lot of times when uh, you're converting these DGN files to DWG, you might not know if a level is duplicated, or in this case, uh, triplicated from master to reference to nested reference. But the settings that we shared here should uh, help you to get the desired results that you want. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.